Hey there, you filthy animals, Mr. Dirty, back with another episode of the GTM Show, and today we've got an item from Pillsbury that's going to be their stuffed waffle, and this item is exclusive right now to 7-Eleven stores. So here is the box that it comes in right here. Um, yeah, we are not in a 7-Eleven store. If you are going to be trying this out, you're going to be going into a 7-Eleven at this time. Uh, you're going to go up to the counter and telling them that you want one. They're going to cook it back there, then they're going to slap it into this box and hand it to you. This one right here, we did not want to do it like that. Uh, we don't do our reviews out in the car, something like that. We're here in a studio. So we asked them for you know one that was uncooked. So this one right here is still frozen. And we're going to cook it downstairs in our own convection oven, which is pretty much how they do it there. Thankfully, we do have our nutrition fact chart, list of ingredients. You know, I, you guys are always so interested in that, right? So, bam, there that is. Pause the screen and read any of that if you need to. They are telling us on the box it's sausage, egg, and cheese in a waffle. Once again, there's the picture on the box so you can see the breakdown, the layers going on there. Let's crack this open. It's a box similar to what like a Happy Pie comes in. All right, so boom shakalaka. There you go. There is your stuffed waffle in its frozen state, uncooked. You can see how big it is right there. Uh, I don't think we're going to get any shrinkage after we cook this. If anything, it might like expand up a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it's going to stay this size. Not a whole lot to see right here, but yeah. Um, never seen anything like this. Uh, it looks like that they've just like taken a huge waffle and threw some stuff on it, and you can kind of like see a seam where they folded it over and kind of like closed it. All right, so I'm going to run this downstairs, uh, throw it in the convection oven for a couple minutes, and just monitor the situation. And I come back, and we'll see what we have for our Pillsbury sausage, egg, and cheese stuffed waffle. Stick around. All right, guys, we are back. We've got our Pillsbury stuffed waffle out of the convection oven where I let it cook in there for about five minutes per side at about 400 degrees. And this is what I got right there. So, boom. There, as you see, it's nice and toasted up on the outside. Extremely hot to the touch. It did burn a few of my fingers as I was pulling it out. And yeah, not too bad. Most of the torching is, uh, you know, at the end bits there. All right. Let's crack this open and see what we got on the inside and see if our layers are like they showed us on that promo on the box. All right, so bam, there's a look at the cross section there. You can see your melted cheese across the top. You can see how thick the layer of egg is. And you can see our sausage patty going on there. Not too bad looking. Real quick before we go snapping into it, uh, I don't think I mentioned earlier when I was reading off the box, it does say sweet maple flavor down there on the bottom. All right, we're giving it a short bit to cool off. I'm going to snap into this now. This is the Pillsbury Stuffed Waffle, the sausage, egg, and cheese in a waffle, exclusive to 7-Eleven. And you know how that goes with uh, some of the other stuff we've seen in the past, probably like a few months, and you'll see this in the frozen food section of your grocery store. Down the hatch. Okay, it's not bad, but it's not great. It's pretty much what you'd expect from, say, a gas station or a truck stop, uh, a, a turnpike toll plaza, a place with, like, restaurants, something like that. That's the kind of flavor I'm getting off of this. It's like a wham bam, thank you ma'am, microwavable, convection oven kind of breakfast sandwich. Exactly what it is, exactly what it was really advertised as. The maple flavor on the uh, the waffle bit, it's not standing out. Um, it's more like a Pillsbury biscuit than it is waffle. It's got that kind of texture, it's got that kind of chew, it's got that kind of flavor. The flavor on the sausage, is that the same of like every biscuit sausage that you've ever gotten from a gas station or truck stop? Um, this is egg beater. You know, it's not like a regular fried egg or anything like that. It's not typical scrambled eggs. It's, it's an egg beater, kind of like a, a patty, like an egg patty. And of course, your processed American cheese, standard fanfare. So yeah, nothing mind blowing here. Um, and at the two dollar and sixty something price, I think that this might have been um, not much of a good value either. It's sizable, but yeah, nothing that you can't find for like a dollar fifty elsewhere. So like I say, it's not good, it's not bad, just kind of middle of the road. So the uh, Pillsbury stuffed waffle, probably wouldn't buy it again, but I could definitely finish this. I'm going to give this a solid three out of five. All right, so there you have it, the Pillsbury stuffed waffle exclusive at 7-Eleven stores. You can slide down there and check it out, or you can just wait a few months and probably pick it up at your grocer's freezer. I'm Mr. Dirty. This is the GTM Show. Don't forget, you can buy knucklehead shirts and hoodies down in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the real Mr. Dirty. And as always, get out of here. Go have a rotten day.